at a time when so many stocks have been absolutely annihilated since the beginning of 2016, it's worth remembering that there are still some real winners out there. Take our old friends at Briggs & Stratton, BBG. That's the maker of gasoline engines for outdoor power equipment, as well as finished products like generators and pressure washers. Here's a stock that's up nearly 25% year to date, which is incredible when you consider the weakness of the broader averages. The reason for the tremendous outperformance, Briggs & Stratton reported a very strong quarter back on January 20th. Even though the company's sales came in a bit light, they delivered a monster 16 cent earnings beat off an 18 cent basis, growing their earnings per share at a 30.8% clip, even as their sales declined by 7% year-over-year. Year. Plus, management also raised their full-year earnings guidance. And you know what? Even though Briggs & Stratton is run here, the valuation is still pretty darn reasonable. Stock trading at 13 times next year's earnings estimates also sports a nice 2.5% yield. So let's take a closer look with Todd Teske. He is the chairman and CEO of Briggs & Stratton. Get a better sense of how his company's doing, where it's headed. Mr. Teske, welcome back to Mad Money. Great to be back, Jim. Thanks. All right, I got to tell you, Todd, uh, one of the reasons why I want to join us, you're the best performing stock I follow. And I think I want to hear your words. How is that possible? Because, you know, first of all, you make snowblowers. We haven't had that much of a snow season. Second, I mean, holy cow, lawnmowers. This isn't lawn mowing scene, season. What is going on at Briggs and Stratton? Well, Jim, what you're seeing is really the uh, results of a lot of hard work by our team. When you go back a few years, uh, we rationalized some product offerings. We went ahead, took some capacity out. So what you're seeing is a lot of the cost come through, the cost savings come through. And at the same time, we were working on a lot of innovative products. And so over the last two years, we've come out with more innovation than we have in a long time. And that's starting to show up in the margins, too. So it's really the execution of the strategy and a lot of hard work on the part of our team. We also think that uh, here, because we're big fans of Home Depot, and we're not big fans of, of things like apparel, that there's a change in the mindset of the American consumer. I know you do big international business too, but they seem to want to spend to make their home more valuable. And Briggs and Stratton uh, fits right in there. Well, yeah, if you look at the last few years, obviously the housing market being down um, has had an impact on us because when people uh, buy new homes or they buy uh, existing homes that are first time home buyers for them, for example, uh, they need power equipment, and they want to take care of their, their, their investment. And so basically what we've seen is with the housing market being where the housing market has been, it's been a few tough years. Now we're seeing the rebound in the housing market, which is obviously showing up then because of the linkage we have uh, to, to housing. We're starting to see that show up in our numbers. So that's, that's very helpful too. Plus, when you look at our exposure to the U.S., we've been trying to uh, diversify our business geographically. We've, we're about 70-30 right now, U.S., non-U.S. Um, you know, for a few years there, it didn't feel very good of being mostly a U.S.-based company with where the housing market was. Now it feels pretty good to be in that, in that spot. So we think we've got some additional runway out there simply as housing continues to go. Uh, I think our, I think we'll we'll continue to see an uptick in the market for us. Well, I, I got to tell you, I, 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 I'm so glad you're on now. On November 10th, 2015, uh, at Baird Industrial Conference, you said that Q3, January through March, is the beginning of high season. How is high season going? Well, it's a little too early to tell because we're still kind of in this funny period where it's February and obviously stores are being stocked for the spring selling season. And so it's one of those things where it's, it's tough to tell where things are going to go. We're optimistic, though. Our placement is better off year over year. And uh, we're cautious, though, at the same time, because there's just a lot of things going on in the market between discussion of negative interest rates and other things mm -hmm. that uh, we're cautiously optimistic, if you will. But I'll tell you what, we, we think that there's some, this could be a pretty good season for us. All right, well, you know, I'm a big user of your products. We have a, an in and a, uh, my, my best friend, Haley, you, you know, he's a... He's a demo guy, and we power wash my place. We use Briggs and & Stratton. And I see you've got something that really matters because I'm thinking about getting it myself. You have an engine that's quiet power technology. That's an, innova an innovation versus everybody else, isn't it? Well, it is, and, and that's one of the things that we've been doing with innovation. So starting and noise and, and storage are really three big things that customers look for and users look for in equipment. And so the quiet power technology that you refer to is 66% quieter than other things that are on the market. It's pretty remarkable, Jim, when you go through it. And, and, and starting, the other thing, we're using lithium-ion batteries for push-button starting on a walk-behind lawnmower. Um, that's innovative. That's new. That's different. 
And then when you look at mowing snow, I mean, we've got a, a, a mower that you can stand on in, and I don't know about you, but I don't have enough garage space. I mean, three and a half car garage, I could have 10 car garage uh, space and not have enough room. And quiet and, and mowing snow ultimately allows you to gain back some of that garage space. So those are some of the innovations that we've come out with in the last couple of years. And I really have the privilege of being able to see what's in the pipeline, and I'm pretty excited about the next five years and what we're, we're going to be coming out with. Uh, last question. Deer reported a not-so-great quarter. Ag Co. reported a not-so-great quarter. You do have a kind of affinity to Ag. Why have you guys not been hurt by that? Well, it's really not so much ag, Jim. It's, it's, it's lawn and garden, and we're right. really tied more to housing than, than agriculture. So when you look at housing and people mowing their lawns, that sort of thing, that's where we really, uh, that's where we live, if you will. Um, the, the ag exposure that we have in the U.S. is pretty small. And when you look internationally, where you have tillers and things that are used in agriculture, still a pretty small part of our business. So really, it's the housing market and, uh, and people cutting grass here in, here in the U.S. and over in Europe. Well, I got to congratulate you, Todd. It's been a remarkable year for you already, and it's a great company, and we love your products. Thank you so much for coming on Mad Money. Thank you, Jim. It's Todd Teske, Chairman, President, and CEO of Briggs & Stratton. I came at this from the other side. Love their products. Amazing to see the stock do so well. But they've got the better mousetrap. Mad Money's back in the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.